Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mark Crypto Boy in Oz. It is Tuesday the 27th of July. And we've had a pullback and it's not unexpected because after such a large um, shoot up in, well, a large quick shoot up in price, it's inevitable that you're gonna get some kind of pullback. Um, so Bitcoin, currently it's at 36.8, Ethereum at 2. 2182 BNB is at three just over 300 Cardano 123 XRP at 62 so everything's come down I'd say on average between five and ten percent thereabouts which is perfectly normal it's not anything to get stressed about um, so if you're trading it's hard work it's not easy I actually I actually lost I actually lost money I pulled out when we had the first when we had the first spike in prices I pulled out part way through and I pulled out I pulled out too early and it carried on going up and then it had like a retracement but it never come back down anywhere near where I pulled out so um I've decided I'm just buying and holding I ain't trading I ain't doing it I'm, I've stopped even though we're only doing it with like probably 30 30 40 percent no 30 percent of my portfolio it still makes you feel sick when you've um when you've jumped out of a trade and then you've jumped back in and even when you after you've waited for the retracement you're like three four percent down on your holdings it's not a good feeling let me tell you it isn't a good feeling uh, especially when you're already 30 percent down on your overall investment say invested 25k Yesterday it was up to 20, now it's back down to 18, so I'm just sticking and holding. I've, I, I've actually changed my investments around, um, not, not, that I believe any, not, not that I believe any less in my long-term holdings, it's just that I believe um, ThorChain is going to recover a lot faster. After this, after this um, kind of sell-off, not only because of obviously prices dipping, but Thorchain getting hacked. I think once this is behind us in a few weeks, Thorchain's gonna go up harder and faster than other coins. That's just my personal opinion. So I've actually took out, I've, I've minimized some of my um, allocations in different holdings and I've um, gone more heavy into into rune fortune so yeah but apart from that i'm not doing anything and what i have done what i have done also which is my the first time the first the first um, opportunity i've had i've i've had my first ido so i've had my first allocation which was awesome um so i'm with um a few different a few different um starter what do you call them i always get this i always get this wrong Basically, I've got Paid Network, uh, which is um, run by Kyle Chasse, really nice guy. Uh, Polka Starter, Kick Kickpad, and Orkin Finance. So I'm in four. I'm in four projects where you get allocation to uh, different coins, or you get the opportunity of allocations into different coins. Orkin Finance to make it more fair. What they've done is reduce the amount of. Um, like the amount you can buy so they basically rather than give individual people more opportunity to like buy more coins in set eth they've reduced the amount you can buy so you're spending less it's, it's like i think it was my allocation were 108 dollars worth which was like in ethereum so i got i got my allocation i, I were in wave four so i was kind of stressing about stressing a little bit because you've got like the first one First wave, second, third, fourth. The private sale, I think, was like, um, I think it was one cent, and then this, the idea, I think, was four cents. Um, well, I might be completely wrong on that. In in, in fact, just forget that. I've not, I think I was talking about something different. But basically, I got an idea, and I've got it at rock bottom prices. Um, no. Just, just happy to happy to get in and just see what happens because, I'd say most ideas, 
as soon as they release onto coin market cap and they're on well you, they're visible on coin market cap and you can buy them through like binance chain or uh, uniswap then regular people can get in and buy it so i'm just keen to see where it goes now um it's not listed yet i think it gets um goes in a, a pool for a few days and i think it goes live i think it's tomorrow so interesting to see where that goes so and and let me let me tell you as well staking is the best thing to do it's the best thing because like i stake all my, my four-year plan which is self-funded by just investing cash not my super my four-year plan everything i've got is staked apart from giro wallet and charlie three because you can't stake them yet but i won't touch them because i believe in them long term but everything else is staked, and it just takes away all temptation. Let me tell you, no, you don't have any temptation at all, because it's just a, it's just like um, it's like t um, two FA, it's like two fa two factor authentication. It's an extra step that makes it harder for the bad guys to hack your account. Well, staking your coins is exactly the same, but it's an extra step to stop yourself doing yourself harm. Um, and I love it because I have no temptation or I look at my portfolio and it goes up and down but I don't care because I'm staking it so I know I know I'm making like between 7% and 10% in some cases more I think I think Kasama's 14% so I'm making money without doing anything I'm just keeping it on the sidelines uh, do, do, well dollar cost averaging when I can um, my mining machine that I sent. I, I don't, if you've been listening to previous videos, I bought a mining. I bought a mining rig, um, an, an ASIC machine, in 2018. It's um, oh, I can't think what it is now. It's it'll come to me. It'll come to me. It's an ASIC, Bitmain. Um. It, it was for Litecoin, pretty much, but people people buy it now for for Do the Litecoin, but for Dogecoin too. But I had it. I paid I paid like twelve hundred dollars for it. That was for the PSU and the miner itself. I sold it for fifteen hundred and fifty dollars on eBay. Uh, shipped it with Sendle, and it went missing. And it's taken three weeks, and they've acknowledged that they can't find it. So they're processing. They're processing. Um, I got it insured, so they're processing a refund. So I'm just waiting on that coming through. So I'll get fifteen hundred dollars of more, more dollar, more cash to put back in to my long term, well, to my four year plan. So what do you think I should invest in? If you, if someone give you, if someone give you fifteen hundred dollars, what would be your go to tokens? Because I'm thinking of putting it in Giro. I'm thinking of like, adding to my Giro, adding to my Charlie 3. Um, but is there something else out there that you're looking at? Because I know there's like a lot of the gaming NFTs now, they're really taking off. Like Axie Infinity has gone, gone mental. Um, there's quite a few. There's quite a few that are going mental. So if there's any, if there's any gems that you've that aren't gone that haven't gone through the roof yet. Or, yeah, anything that you think what you'd invest in, and I might consider it. So give me a shout in the comments, let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, invest well, my friends, and remember, there's a crypto boy in every single one of you. Even you girls.